Hi all Todd here and we're in Ramlo, North Carolina at the Heritage Mills Antique Mall and Designer Center. Yeah, let's go inside and check it out. I want to get a shot of this cool water tower here. Yeah, it looks like it's definitely in an old mill for sure. This is it right here and right where that stoplight is is the entranceway. So we've entered, here's the entrance here that you come in and if there's any information you need or uh, questions to be answered, the desk is right in the front here as you come in. Okay, turn over here, we're gonna go left and go this way through the antique mall. And as you can see, you got independent vendors as well selling miscellaneous things. You got jewelry, books, furniture, and we're gonna find some vintage toys too. And you get crafts as well. It looks like you've got, uh, this is fusion mineral paint. So yeah, you're gonna find little booths like this. This is really cool, they turn this mill into this. Also dishware, things like that. Stuff for your garden, crystal. And like I said, this is the first time I've been here. And I just looked them up and it's right near Gastonia, not far at all. Of course, you're gonna find uh, Christmas stuff. This little portrait of Santa it looks like. That's pretty neat. Something simple like that though put up in your house during uh, Christmas time. I'm just walking around looking at every booth. Look at the old uh, push lawnmower. Yeah, I never had the privilege to do one of those. I always had a gas powered mower. <laughs> so we go down this way. Yeah, I just wanna check out each of these booths. Yeah, looks like they're getting their Christmas stuff out too. Look at that little wreath. That's neat with Santa. That's cool. Vintage glassware. Who's little statues? <laughs> yeah, you get a lot of 60 stuff. Oh, look at these 25% off everything in the booth here. I love these uh, old Santa Claus Coca Cola glasses. Those are neat. I think it's 25 for the set. Oh, here's a bubblegum card area. Look at those sports cards right here. That's neat. These look like they're retro cards. Yeah. Pretty sure they are. But he also has uh, it's that starting lineup. Well, at least one figure. And you get a bunch of cards over here. Look at all these. But he sells a lot of fishing lures and fishing rods. Look at all the, these right here. Tons of lures here. Here's some starting lineup. Michael Jordan right there. That's cool. It's $14.95. So, Jordan, Jordan. Everything Jordan right there. Oh, I love this right here. 1962 to 1998. Volkswagen Bug Matchbox. Coca-Cola cars. $18.95 for that. You get some of the die cast. Also, NASCAR. And some more sports ornaments. Now, if you're collecting sports cards look at this got these cases here glass cases full of cards right here collectibles more lures more sports cards very cool there's some boxes of them here oh there's an 89 batman let's see what that is turbine sounds car it's the 89 batmobile $42 still in the box that's nice and the dealer here has also saved the old wrappers to the old baseball cards and sometimes you can find some really cool books something like this the old paperback oh there's a Dennis and Menace babysitter's guide this one like Patton got some VHS in there too famous westerns yeah I got a few Disney movies over here old bottles here very cool a lot of them here and here's some uh, trucks get the Hess gas truck yeah I like those oh look at the G.I. Joe we did find a G.I. Joe tractor trailer right here it looks like it's one of those you had the batteries in it it's kind of RC remote control maybe type uh, truck let's get the lever there for back and forth so you put the batteries in there also the Tonka fire truck here very cool Checking it all out. Going through every nook and cranny. There's a steering wheel. 
Oh, G.I. Joe. Yeah, it is. It's a G.I. Joe collector case. Kyle Ferguson used to own it. Let me see if there's anything inside. Probably not, but worth a try. Nope. But I always love these things. 35 just for the box. We got a few of the Prince Albert tobacco cans there. This is log rolling. A sport that demands the balance of a tightrope walker, the agility of a tumbler, and the stamina of a lumberjack. Yes, when it comes to a champion, the proof is in the rolling. And when it comes to a champion smoking tobacco, the proof is in the puffing. That's why Prince Albert is America's largest selling smoking tobacco. Yes, the proof is in the puffing. Prince Albert burns steady. Prince Albert smokes cool. Prince Albert tastes fresh. And now, for the man who prefers the convenience of a pouch, Prince Albert comes in this handy new foil pouch, as well as the famous pocket tin. Pouch or tin, the proof is in the puffing. Oh, the proof is in the puffing. Prince Albert has the flavor, the flavor most favored in the USA. Try Prince Albert in the handy new foil pouch or famous pocket tin. And then velvet tobacco. So it's old liquor bottles right there. Check out the old Motorola uh, radio clock. That's cool. It's a mass. Some collector. I think those are retro signs. That look, made it look old, but they're pretty cool. Got Mickey Mouse right here. Old Mickey for 15. A lot of classic bottles. Look at all these. There's a neat little booth here. Very cool. Look at the Ninja Turtles. Donatello, isn't that Donatello? Yeah. Got Donatello. Here I'm dropping stuff. Yeah, these are cool here. Like Michael and Donatello. Very cool. Got some stuff up here too. Some mask and Pikachu. Got some pops. Some Funko Pops over here. Got some anime too. Very cool. Cool neon. Got pins. More stuff over here like Beetlejuice, you got Pennywise, some anime, keychains. Very unique little booth. That's really the old photographs and postcards. Got a whole rack full right here, too. That's neat. Yeah, you got all kinds of vintage photographs all through here. I know a lot of people collect those, too. And display them on the finished photographs. I love how this little booth here is set up. Well done. Another neat little booth with some cool stuff set up on it. Got a lot of anime. I love these little uh, plaques right here you can display. Yeah, Deadpool. Okay, Deadpool. But then you also got down there Flintstones and Scooby Doo, Walking Dead, Beetlejuice. Got some little dolls here. Including Deadpool. Just <laughs> fun stuff right here. Over here, we got these. Look at this guy. Monster season. He's pretty cool looking. You know, it's like every year on Kampusnacht, I rise from hell, I run around, kidnap all the naughty children, and I just go home and check out. Yeah, I was looking at it. he's carrying a satchel. I'm thinking that's probably Krampus. Here's a bowl mold of Joseph and Mary with little baby Jesus. That's kind of neat. Let me see how much that is. The bowl molds are so popular right now. That is not bad. That's only $50 for that entire set. Yeah, I've seen them much higher than that. That's a, that's a real good deal right there. There's a fun little Christmas uh, display there, a little Christmas village. I wonder if that's magnetized, putting little skaters on there. And they skate around on the uh, ice rink. What I'm seeing really is just really fun, also you know, Christmas gift ideas they have here. Just a lot of them spread out. So, yeah, I would come here just to see the gifts that you could possibly get for your friends or your family members. Yeah, you know, these little things here. And then below it, got some books as well. But yeah, it's just fun little stuff here. Especially in this little booth here. Some cool Christmas ideas. Now, here's a neat one here. It's like gift packages for, for kids yeah that's really nice get a bunch of them so the price accordingly depending on what's in each of these little gift bags 
for the kids. Look at these, Cabbage Patch kids. That's cutie town. <laughs> That's neat. Oh, there's some Nurture Turtles right here. That's cool. Leonardo, Michelangelo. Oh, it's all four of them. Turn that around. And that is 40 for that set. That's actually not too bad. I love those. Those are actually pretty cool looking. They're uh, die cast too. They're metal. 40 bucks for that. You got a Care Bear, Care Bear package. You got like uh, Elsa and uh, Anna right here. You got a couple of them. The characters and stuff from Frozen. You got SpongeBob. Very cool. Also oh, got the Fruit Loops. If your kids into Fruit Loops. You also get the uh, uh, Funko Pop Fruit Loop box. This booth here has some really nice Christmas decor. 25% off everything in the booth. Very nice. Oh, look at this like uh, nativity scene here. I can't remember what those little figures are, but uh, that's really neat though. And here's another fun booth with all kinds of vintage photographs. Some really nice mirrors. Pretty wild. Yeah, cool little booth right here. Also have some jewelry. And the little box here of uh, vinyl. Just going through this. Sometimes you never know what you might find. Yeah. Very Malaloo. Yay. Leo Sayer. There's a few Leo Sayer albums in there. Barbara Streisand. Season greetings there. You can get uh, Barbara Streisand's uh, Christmas album. Have some vintage clothing, some flannel, some bags. I think I found the toy area. Look at all these puzzles here. A lot of puzzles. Very cool. 10% off entire booth. There's Mario. Right up here. I'm not sure it's R and R is what it's called. Let me go over here. A lot of cars. Looks like they might uh, have some rare cars in here in the showcase. Look at the Batman Batmobile. 30 for that one. So yeah, he's got a lot of matchbox and tons of Hot Wheels right here. A bunch of miscellaneous toys along the wall. And don't forget to check the shelving right here. But yeah, he's got a lot of Hot Wheels. Here's some matchbox right here. Little Hot Wheels. Nice assorted collection of Hot Wheels. And you can go through. Then on the side here, you get a little end cap with some stuff. And I'm wondering, he probably, the person that owns this probably, there's a minion, check those guys out. More toys. A lot of cars. Yeah, my nephews are heavy duty into the cars. I oh, got figures over here. Very cool. Oh, look at that Xenomorph for 17. That's pretty cool looking. Um, there's one of the turtles, Leonardo. Get some of the Netflix He Man figures. Nice. Yeah, I'm just going through it all for you guys. Got some miscellaneous like Johnny Lightning, stuff like that over here as well. But got a bunch of cars. Great collection. More fun home decor in this booth. Saw this buffet here. It's really different. It's 450 for that. Yeah, that's nice. And then you have this room, just filled with different uh, assorted decor. A lot of dishware in here. And they have books. So yeah, there you go. It's, it's, it's kind of small, but uh, they do have a nice little selection of stuff. A lot of great Christmas ideas too, for gifts and stuff like that. And this is one of the last booths here, just filled with Christmas goodness. Very nice decor for Christmas time. Yeah, there a lot of the antique places like this have pulled out all their Christmas stuff, ready to go for the holidays. Well, that was fun going into the mill here and checking out their antiques and collectibles. Picked up a couple things. I got a Draco Funko Pop for like two bucks. I also picked up a Goofy. 
that. I'm a big Goofy collector, so I love anything Goofy. But yeah, when you come here, Bambi's here. Be sure to see her. I've also got some information she wanted to share with you guys about an estate sale coming up. So I'll have all that information in the description so you can check that out. But yeah, I found out this building, this mill was built in 1917. That's pretty neat. Yeah, and they also filmed a movie here called Entry Point. Um, I think it was a short film that they did a few years ago. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. It's a you know, it's just another place to go if you're antiquing and you're looking for some, some cool collectibles or some gifts for your friends or family. Yeah, stop by here. All right, guys, you take care. Please subscribe. Take care.